Celebrating the release of their debut album, That's Us, with an extensive nationwide tour with none other than Annie Crummer. Please welcome back to the cafe, the modern Māori quartet, James, Marka, Matariki and Francis. Yes! Oh, welcome back, guys. Thank you. Um, lovely to have you here. So it's been, I think, about a year since uh, you were last here with Shine, which is also from this album. You were all in suits that time. So what happened to the suits, guys? Sorry Things. about that, that's probably my, uh, my fault. Uh, we uh, we had a few shows in the weekend, so um, they're at the dry cleaner at the moment. Oh, the dry <laughs> cleaner, so we've got the matching t-shirts, that's fine. Um, so a lot's been going on for you guys, hasn't it? Yes, yeah. a lot since we, yeah, we were last on the show. We, yeah. we just got back from Edinburgh uh, a week and a half ago, uh, Australia at the same time. Yeah, so we did 20, 29 shows in Edinburgh, two wow. weeks sellout, sellout season in uh, Australia. And here we are now, uh, yeah, on the road for, for 11 shows around New Zealand. Well, this is going to be incredible because it starts Sunday and Marka Annie Crummer joining you. How on earth did you pull that off? Because I think she's sensational. Uh, we worked with Annie before on a show called Happy Hour and um, she's, she's amazing. She's yeah. like a... Uh, she's like a auntie role model. I was going to say, she like Camp Mother? She's great, yeah. 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 <laughs> she's Hello, an incredible, Baba. incredible, yeah. incredible vibe, isn't she? She's such a happy yeah. woman person. Yeah. Um, you, the album is That's Us right here, and it's all originals, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, Matariki, how did it come about? I mean, why did you decide to make an original album? Because you have been known for your covers, haven't you? Yeah, well, uh, that's, that's exactly the reason, uh, Mel. We... Um, we do, we do like performing covers, but we had, as artists, we had to have our own voice out there. Um, so, um, yeah, about a year ago, we decided to go get out, get outside of the city, go out to my family farm and start writing an album. And we pretty much wrote the bones of that album in six days. So who did the most of the writing? Was it like a collaborative thing? Yeah, all of us wrote the things together. Um, I think that the uh, couple of uh, directions which we did find was really cool is uh, one was this truth, we wanted to tell our stories, truthful stories, and the other thing was uh, is based at the garage party, so if we could get at, one of, at least one of our songs into a multi garage party or, or a garage party, <laughs> then we've cracked it. Oh no, well that's, that's easy with you boys, yeah. you certainly have that vibe where everybody wants to join in. Did you learn a little bit about yourselves writing an album that you say is honest? Oh yeah. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. Some yeah. hard truths got, uh, are, are on there, as well as some fun, fun and light-hearted truths, but yeah, there's definitely some some, uh, yeah, pulling at the heartstrings happening there. Yeah. Oh, good. We like that sort of thing. And you've got some names on here too. Um, Marka Temuera Morrison yes. features on one of your songs. How'd you get him? Uh, also, it's the same <laughs> thing. We he was um, we co-hosted with him on Happy Hour, and he's just uh, he's a lovely fellow. These these um, boys here worked with him on um, on Mahana. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, because we know what Tim's like. James, he just would have nudged his way in, wouldn't he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just absolutely. invited himself. Yeah. He's like, I want to sing all the songs. Yeah. <laughs> Make it <laughs> happen, boys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's cool. I uh, know, and uh, yeah, Fran uh, didn't have to do much auto tuning. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he's awesome. Um, your story's been described, I heard someone describe it as um, from rags to flash rags. Did your first gig five years ago, did you actually only get paid 50 bucks for that? Is that true? Yeah. Yes, we did. Split it between uh, three of us when you <laughs> include our manager at the time. <laughs> and so, yeah, that was a, that was a nice uh, Big Mac meal we had. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was pretty intimate too. This was a modern, uh, we, there was only two members, so we were the modern Māori duet at the time. <laughs> and look how much you've grown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's pretty awesome. Now, on this album, uh, is it, or on the tour rather, are we doing this album or are we going to mix it up with a few covers as well? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, the gist of it is um, mainly the album, but yeah, there's a couple of covers, really familiar um, songs that always come out at the garage parties, no matter where you are. Um, uh, what, what, it Only Happens, mm -hmm. uh, For Today, Poor um, and stuff, you know, just some real classic uh, songs that are really familiar for people to sing along to, or uh, Get Up and Dance. Mm, yeah. Which is what we want. <laughs> uh, you say, you've travelled everywhere, and just quickly, um, you, but you say you've been in Edinburgh. I mean, you've also, also played in Uzbekistan, all over the place. Do you think your storytelling really translates, like across all, all people? Yeah, music is such a uh, universal language, right? So, uh, no matter what language the words are in, people get a, people generally get a vibe, and uh, our vibe is generally about um, aroha, sharing love, and. Um, we were about to go on tour, on a 12 city tour to China um, after this tour. Wow. Um, and those guys don't speak any English, so it's going to be a cool challenge to um, 
to express um, this feeling of whanaungatanga and of aroha to those guys and hopefully they get it, yeah. Yeah, That's no, they cool. And you guys do it so beautifully. Fun and polished and, you know, that real nice family vibe as well. And I totally get everything you're doing. Can I just say, I think those t-shirts are awesome. You can hook me up one of them. Yeah, they're so really good. So good. Yeah. Most impressed, most impressed. <laughs> Nice. Okay, boys, well, we're going to hear from you very soon. When are you going to be singing for us, by the way? We'll be singing a song called Who We Are. Nice. And uh, it's quite fitting with the current uh, elections happening. Yeah, yes, true. Yes, isn't no, it just? Okay, looking forward to that. And if you want to see the modern Māori quartet with Annie Crummer for all the tour details, go to mmq.nz. Yes, guaranteed. Good time. And if you can't make it, just go and grab a copy of the album. That performance not too far away. Do we not share the same water? Breathe the same air? Bleed the same color and live from the land. Do we not judge a book by its cover? Pretend to understand. We need to stop, look, and listen. And not just follow man, it's who we are. It's who we are. to each other speak from my heart try to pay attention stay true to who we are can we just be in the moments not too far ahead stop look and listen this is where your path is led it's who we are it's who we are Life can be perfect when you love more each day. Do we not share the same water? Breathe the same air, bleed the same color, and live from the land. Do we not judge a book by its cover? Pretend to understand. We need to stop, look, and listen, and not just follow men. It's who we are. It's who we are. It's who, it's who we are. It's who we not are. share the same water, breathe the same air. It's who we are. The same color, live from the land. It's who. We are.